And we start the town of the big story Fox 5 has been following from the get-go. And tonight we can tell you Naresh Bhatt, the husband of missing Manassas Park woman Monta Koffel, is now facing a first-degree murder charge. Now the upgraded charges come after new DNA evidence was confirmed. Fox 5's Nana Singh Bonsu is live tonight with the new details. Nana? Uh, Jim and Angie, good evening. Naresh Bhatt will officially be charged with first-degree murder and defiling a dead body tomorrow in court. Now, Manassas Park Police Chief Mario Lugo tells me that through evidence, he believes that Naresh Bhatt cut up his wife and then disposed her body parts in different wooded areas in Northern Virginia. Now, Naresh has been in jail since August for hiding the body of Monta Koffel, but tonight, the grand jury is adding two more charges after evidence that the police department recently received. Now on your screen are some photos of evidence that was recovered from Mamsa and Naresh's Manassas Park home over the summer. You can see what appears to be blood, blood stains in the bathroom and on the carpet. When investigators recovered this evidence at the scene, they could only confirm that it was blood. That was it. And it was enough to charge Bot with concealing a dead body. A couple weeks ago, police received confirmation from forensics and DNA that the blood found in the home is indeed from Monta Koffel. Chief Lugo says having this helps confirm what occurred in the house on or around July 29th that Bot allegedly killed his wife. In court, investigators described the evidence as, quote, one of the worst crime scenes they've ever seen. Lugo believes that the prosecution has a strong case, even without a body. But I think we're in a good position right now. Um, and it happened to happen right before the holidays, and we were able to get this evidence. And this was the first grand jury after getting that evidence back, which made it easier for us to present it. We were here to get justice for Monta, and I think we accomplished that today by getting the first-degree murder charge. And that's what was our goal from the beginning of this, based on what we were seeing. Now, Mamta Koffel's mother and brother, who came to the States from Nepal when she went missing, were in the room when Chief Lugo updated the community on the case. They're currently caring for Mamta's one-year-old daughter. They didn't speak to the community, but members say they're grateful for all their support. This is not a celebration. We're not here happy. There's a sense of relief, but please give them the time to process their emotions while this is a step forward in the case. There's no amount of jail time that's going to bring back what they really want, which is their daughter. We cannot have Mamta back. We lost a you know, young lady who has so much dream in this country. Yeah. Somebody's daughter, somebody's sister, somebody's friends, you know, somebody's colleague, yeah. you know, it's, and somebody's mother. Now, over here, right outside the police department, you can see there is a small memorial here outside uh, Fort Monta Confel that the community put together. Now, that same community plans to be at court tomorrow, where the grand jury will officially charge Naresh Bhatt with that first-degree murder and defiling a body charges. It is important to note that Naresh Bhatt, as we mentioned, he's currently in jail for concealing a dead body, and that trial is expected to start next week, but we're going to see what exactly will happen with that case now that two additional charges have been added. Court is expected to start in the morning at 10 o'clock and Fox 5 will be there. Guys.